What's up everyone? It's your boy Showtime Thought Doctor. Finally back. I did a 2500 mile trip to get all my gear over here. Long story, who cares? But so my setup's a little funky. You can see I'm kind of slanted here. The windows are all off because I don't have all my lights and stuff set up yet, but whatever. So this is gonna be a couple of you guys asked me for abyss guides. So this is actually your level 40 abyss guide. I'm gonna just start recording them from where I am. So in this case, we're going to be fighting the Burned Eye Lich boss. Uh, <clears throat> before I get into, I got to do a couple things before I actually show you the video. So number one, whenever you do the phase one portion of any of the Abyss fights, you should always look to reduce it to one enemy ASAP and then stall as long as you can with either heals or defensive things and then just do your auto attacks on um, so that you can build up your so gauge bar you see here my bar is actually built up to what's that about 60 62 63 because clearly you want that stuff for your heroes or in the case of i have the wolf but whatever you guys run for your little summon guy and then also the other thing i want to tell you guys before we get here um as far as how my characters are geared because you see what team i'm running <clears throat> i'll just start the video here but Carmen Rose, she has the lifesteal set and a mismatch of, it's about like tier four-ish, mostly epic gear, uh, red gear rather. And then Armin kind of has a mismatch between tier four, average around tier four, there's some tier five, there's some tier three, but some, I think one or two of her pieces of gear are actually blue. But uh, everything that Armin has is, uh, Oh, I should get into the relics too, or the artifacts. Well, anyways, everything that Armin has, it's mostly I got two defensive set on her and one health set because uh, defense buffs her barrier, which is really good, and then clearly gives her defense. The artifact that Armin is using is the artifact that makes her, it increases the defense of everyone around her 10%, and it also gives her, uh, makes it so that she takes 10% of all damage taken. Uh, across the board. Carmen Rose's artifact is actually the RNG puts a random debuff up. <clears throat> a mage artifact. Now, as far as uh, Kyrus goes, Kyrus is wearing... I think for this fight, she actually still had her T3. She has full uh, effectiveness sets, so three, three effectiveness sets. Her effectiveness is somewhere in the range of like one plus 128 or something like that percent, so... You see when she puts the poison on, when Kyrus puts the poison on, she does it pretty good. Her artifact is also the three star, uh, I believe it starts out at 10%, 10% bonus effectiveness. Now, and then lastly, uh, Katie's in the back. She's got, I don't actually run her speed, I run her triple life, mostly because my speed gear is needed on other characters. I should get her a speed set though. Uh, she has triple life. She also has, I forget what it's called, but it's the artifact that 50% uh, chance on turn or fairly high percent chance on turn. It's going to dispel uh, random allies debuff, just one. It's something like Wondrous Potion or something is what it's called, but that's pretty much how all the gear requirements go. Now I'll get into what I'm doing here. <clears throat> uh, number one. You, the, the damage order you want for this fight is that guy in the front, because the reason you want to kill the guy in the front is because he resurrects. So if you kill the guy in the back, or excuse me, the guy in the middle, he is going to just res him every like two or three turns, and you're screwed. And then, so after that, you want to kill the guy at the bottom because the boss there on the far right, the Burning Eye Lich, if there's someone alive when you kill him, he actually resurrects himself, and I think he gets a buff and all that. So, uh, yeah, so you see what I'm doing? I'm just focusing that guy that I'm telling you about on the damage order. Now, I'm saving my charges, if you notice. <clears throat> yeah, something in my throat. Saving my charges, and then just trying to tank the damage. I tried to bring Ravi in here earlier, but the issue with Ravi was... Um, you know, she needs lifesteal, and these guys have a lot of lifesteal or uh, heal block. So that doesn't work well. Now, one thing to look out for, that guy on the bottom, eventually, when he gets his ulti, he'll do like a charge attack, and it'll do like a double hit. So the double hit is... Uh, 
I forget if it puts defense down or if it increases combat readiness, but whatever it does, I remember it's pretty bad. And it actually does a pretty good uh, portion of damage, so you're going to have to watch for that. The person that's in front, clearly that's going to be your uh, the person that gets attacked the most. Now, the way that the boss works, the actual boss, he deals more damage to you based on your health missing, so... If you can help it, there's a reason why I'm running like a life steal, <clears throat> uh, which is Carmen Rose. And then two people that have heals and barriers is because you see there, he put up uh, anti speed and a uh, heal block right there, the boss. He has a move that can attack two people, and he also has his ultimate attacks AoE. The more health that you're missing, the harder that the thing is going to hit. So you see, let me pause it here so you guys can see it. Sometimes this is inaccurate, but you see this part up here. That is the countdown to tell you when the boss's ult is coming. See, one turn, two turns, three turns, four turns, and then when it hits R, that means it's ready, which means he'll probably use it on the next turn unless for some reason he's stunned or silenced or whatever. So you always got to pay attention to that. It's also on these little minion guys. You can see here the little charge. Some minions have a rage bar though, so it's kind of hard to tell, but... Oh, that's not rage bar though, because you can see the R right there. So whenever you see a minion with an R, that means that... Or even the boss with an R, there's that double attack I was talking about. So... But right now I'm just burning the little skull dude on the bottom, because... Like I said, if the boss dies while he's still alive, the boss just sacrifices him and comes back to life, and he's buffer. So it gets pretty rough. Now, what you're going to want to do, you notice how I time my heal right now, and I purposely did that, because everybody needs to have as high health as possible before the boss hits his ultimate. Because the more health you're missing, the harder it's going to hit, and you know it has one-shot capabilities if you're right around... At least for me, if I was right around, say, half health, etc. So, I'm running Kyrus. You guys should know the Kyrus poison strat by now. I'm running Kyrus as the main. There's the boss's ultimate, by the way. So if I was missing a ton of health, that probably would have taken out Carmen Rose and possibly would have got uh, Kyrus and Armin in the front there. Because my Kyrus actually doesn't have too much defense. I, I've been working on it a bit, but I just had a major gear switch over because I've been smithing a lot in the smithy shop when I get the spare gold. So right now, the issue is when the boss is alone, the boss isn't that big a deal. So I've given Armin invulnerability, which that was mostly to heal her because I know Carmen Rose can heal with... Uh, because she has a life still set on. Now that, that move right there, once you talent it, it gives Carmen Rose defense buff. If you burn it, it's a three turn buff. It also gives her attack buff. So it makes her pretty strong. And you see there, defense buff probably, if it didn't save her life, it saved her from being at like 2% or whatever. So now I'm sitting here like, well, do I want to start burning like Wolf? Do I want to burn? I think I probably... I'm trying to think what I would have done here, but I probably burned uh, Armin's ulti. Armin's ulti, for those who don't know. Uh, it heals. It puts up a damage absorption shield for two turns. And uh, the heal is based on her max health. The shield is based on her max armor. And it's actually one of the better mitigation ults in the game. Currently, let me, I'm going to turn up the uh, the speed here. I'm probably interacting with someone. This was on my stream yesterday. All right, so yeah, here comes the shield. Bing, bing, bing. So, and then now, Carmen Rose's two, actually, it feels like it hits harder than, than her one. It, puts, it gives her a speed buff, and it also puts a speed debuff on the enemy percentage chance. On effectiveness, of course. Now we're getting the curious, uh, the curious poison going on. I don't know why this thing's lagging. I don't know if that's YouTube or if that was the way that Twitch had it. But anyways, right there we got two poison dots up. So you see, as long as curious, that's actually really good for curious considering we're fighting a fire boss. 
I would have actually been more comfortable bringing in Alexa or some more water heroes, but unfortunately my water heroes are... Um, they're not that strong, unfortunately, as a team. Like, they're strong, but I, I, need, I need to get more levels of better gear, etc. Is what I mean. Because right now, Clarissa, etc. They're my water team. But let's get back to this, though. So, you see, I'm still sitting on all these charges. I got about seven of them right now. And we're managing to basically keep up mitigation. My healer's got all their cooldowns. So right now, Carmen Rose. The best time to give out a Katie's uh, invulnerability is when it's going to take someone a while to take their turn. Like if you give them invulnerability and their turn is immediately next, the, all the buffs basically tick one buff on their duration and invulnerability is one turn. So it kind of gets rough, but sometimes you got to give it to people anyways because they really need the healing. So right now we're starting to bring out DPS Wolf. Yeah, you know, let me turn this back to, hold on, normal speed, because I think YouTube must be having issues, YouTube having issues at the moment. So, but basically, once you get him alone, it's just pretty much tank and spank at that point. You can try to kill him before he gets his next ulti off. As you see here, I'm doing this with, like... It's a good team, you know, but it's not like I have the top DPS in the game. You know, like, I'm not... I don't even have any good Moonlight characters right now, etc. So... But right here, you can put up these Poison Dots. And that's game right there. That's the reason you run Curious with a ton of effectiveness even against fire mobs, because what I think happens when you try to hit someone with a debuff that is your counter element, I think it straight up just cuts it in half. So, and then it also adds whatever the resistance is for whatever you're fighting, but that's pretty much it, guys, for that boss, so hopefully that helps you out. Your damage order is going to be the guy in the front, uh, the guy at the bottom, and then the boss. So if you got a Kyrus or anyone like that, like the Bleed Queen Surin or Alexa or whatever you're going to do for your DPS, because there's lots of plenty of you guys been playing long enough by now. You got proper DPS that can chunk bosses, even if it's all physical damage. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Phase one, just build up your charges, keep everyone alive. You should be good and set to go, so I hope this guide helps you guys out. As I continue beating more of the bosses, I'm going to bring you guys the guides of bosses that are like... I believe they have the hard bosses every 5 floors. It might be every 10 floors, I don't know, but as I keep grinding, I'll try to do some more today, and I'll record it when I get there, so... Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I'm back to producing videos pretty much full time now uh got all my gear like i said i still gotta move some stuff out i still need my proper lighting etc i totally look like casper the ghost right now the gangster version <laughs> but anyways dudes i hope you guys are well be looking forward today i'm gonna put out uh i'm late to it but i gotta put out a video on the dev notes patch notes got a couple game suggestions i'll do some more guides and once again you guys got some requests let me know uh this was a request so i'm starting to do this right now and God, I haven't done my promo in a while. Well, I remember it. Let's go. Yo, I'm Showtime Doctor, Showtime DR. You found my YouTube. Hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Also, check the title info. There's going to be a link to my Twitch. You can come over there. I play this game late nights. I'm actually looking for another gacha game to play right now. Going to be trying a few out over the next couple days. And also, there will be a link to my Discord. You could come in. We got an Epic 7 tab. We got Anime Heads. We got some other mobile games, people's play, general game stuff. Come in, share your experiences, answer questions, you know, show us how elite you are. <laughs> and I will catch you guys again in another video. Peace out.